Watching car crash tests is horrifying and mesmerizing in equal measure. Here, we're seeing the difference that two decades of ever-improving car design has made to safety. Europe's car safety assessment program, Euro NCAP, is 20 years old, and to mark the occasion, it staged a test. It put a Rover 100 from 1997 up against its modern city car equivalent, the Honda Jazz, and pitted both of them against a metal barrier at 40 miles an hour. Although it has seemingly modern safety features like airbags, the Rover 100 earned just one star out of five. The driver dummy rattles around the inflated bag. His legs would have been crushed, he may have suffered head injuries, and the body and door of the car are so twisted it might be tough to get him out. The Honda Jazz driving dummy fares much better. Improvements in the structure of the car and tech, like side curtain airbags, keep him in place and protected. That car gets five stars. In the US, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or IIHS, painted a more dramatic picture of car safety evolution when it smashed a 1959 Chevrolet Bel Air into a 2009 Chevy Malibu. Both end up looking like mangled metal, but the newer car disperses the energy of the impact in a totally different way. Instead of a steering column slamming into his body, the driver of the Malibu gets cushioned and contained. Now that they're nearly out of places to stuff more airbags, engineers are focused on active safety, using tools like automatic braking to dodge crashes in the first place. Until computer-controlled, self-driving cars can actually deliver on the promise of making all crashes a thing of the past, trials like these are the best tools automotive designers have to test the machines supposed to keep us safe. And these head-to-heads show their efforts are working.